Hey, everybody, Ann here. I need to go out and check the chickens because, well, Miss Pris didn't roost with her babies last night. All right, let's see how the babies are. Here's Romeo. There's two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get every morning. Okay. Yes, Romeo's going to chase her around too. Because she is part of the flock again, basically. One, two, three, four. I keep counting them. And there's Torch. Uh, if this is, in fact, a rooster, I'm going to put him in with the Easter Eggers. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about them not making it through the night. <laughs> they all huddle up in that little box back there, the little hen house back there. Up in that little box. So, I don't need to worry. I worry too much. I worry about everything. But, they made it. Okay, like four peas in a pod. Back together. <laughs> I guess Roxy's going to be the low one on the totem pole again, or the pecking order. I haven't even had my coffee. I've literally not even had my coffee yet. Just so I can't talk, I can't think. Alright. Well, let's just see what happens with the dynamics of these. If they start roosting with the smaller birds, or hanging out with them more. I think I'm going to keep them in the yard today. It's going to rain most of today. They've got plenty of greens in here. They've got plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of space. I managed to get cleaned up a little bit, brush my hair, put on my hat, live and learn. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that lately. Anyways, the chickens have been caterwauling, so maybe I got some eggs. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that I might get three eggs today. Since it's gonna be cool today, I figured I might try and bust out this chicken yard. I'm gonna have to get that auger that Miss Donna sent me so I can dig down some steak, you know, some steaks into the ground. I'm just gonna gather some more um, tree limbs and see if that works in addition to what I've already got. But these chickens are getting bigger, so I wanna give them a look. No wonder they keep dumping over their water, oh my gosh. So, I'm going to see if I can get that sorted out for them so that they can roam around. And I'll have to cover the top as well. So, let's see how I do. <laughs> After it rains, there is a menagerie of mushrooms on my property. I feel like I'm in Super Mario World. Look at those. Yeah, fly agarics. Definitely not edible. They are all over my yard. They sure are pretty though, look at that. Aren't they pretty? I got a few stakes up. I got these bigger ones that I was gonna use in that other yard to kind of lift the top up so I could put some netting. But I just used them over here. I haven't got in all the stakes yet. But what I'd really like is to get some of those stakes. I may have a few laying around somewhere and just get this stake down to the ground a little bit better. I don't know if they can get out, to be honest with you. Um, it looks like it's making contact pretty well all over the place. I uh, definitely think I need another stake here. So I'm going to go ahead and let them out and just see how they like it. See where my weaknesses are and then see about getting the top covered. Okay, baby chickens. Time to get your freedom. Let's go, babies. They'll figure it out. They may not come out with me standing right here. Let's see. Not what? What is this new world? Oh, look. They're making happy sounds. Look at how absolutely gorgeous they are. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous chickens. They're happy. 
All right, babies. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this open. See what they do. All right, chickens, I know you're hungry, but excuse me, I gotta get through. Coming through. Lady with mud boots on, coming through. I promise I won't step on you. Aw, uh, they're happy. Hope they won't try and fly out while I'm taking care of a little business here. I'll come back, bring the deer netting, and see how I can attach that. I just walked by my pond and something jumped into it. I think it was a frog. But you know what? Many times I've come out here and I've thought to myself, someday I'm going to look out here and there's going to be a snake swimming around in my pond. Yep, it's going to happen. I've got it mostly covered and I really hate this stuff. You can hardly see it. But it's covered on this side, so that's good. Still got my junk up there. Got my auger down there. It's covered, and this is all, this is messed up. Um, this is not done yet because I just got tired and it was raining and I had to stop and start and stop and start. But what I, what I really need is a couple more of these bigger poles and I need to put them in the center. But it is pretty much covered um, yeah, this one didn't stay in. I staked it down, kind of like put a little thing over there. But, especially in the areas that are kind of like by the trees, I made sure that was secured really well. Now, there is a big hole in the center <laughs> because I ran out of deer netting. But, um, I don't know. I'll be able to get some more up eventually. I just really wanted the parts that were they could uh, fly up on top of or like the fence or the the house the hen house I just wanted to be able to you know make it so they couldn't fly out so I don't know if they'll fly out through the center we'll just have to wait and see uh, I definitely need more deer netting I might be able to use some of that you know what that's right I can use some more chicken wire that's what I'll do. And then in the center, see here, I don't know if you can see it, just kind of dips down. I need to raise this up and raise up a little bit over there. And it should be fine. I mean, at least for right now. Oops, got a hole in here. That's not good. All I can say is that these little chickens are so much happier running around. They love running around that little bush. And it is all covered back there as well, so... They are just happy and when it rains they go back inside when it's not raining they come out and they hunt and peck now this is all going to be decimated eventually but that's okay i'll keep throwing out microgreen seeds and they sprout all over the place but they are happy what are you doing beautifuls you hiding for me oh they're all the way over there they're underneath the tree so they got plenty of shade yeah it's workable. It's doable. It'll do for now. I am tired, but it's a good kind of tired because I accomplished something today. So, the deer netting over the top, I realized that it is not going to be predator proof. I mean, basically, a hawk could just dive bomb through the center of that, even if the whole entire top was covered. But I'm, I'm mainly wanting to keep the chickens from flying out because this flock isn't going to free range. So we'll just see how this deer netting does. It's really hard to work with, but I mean, it's got some good points. Uh, the, some of the good points are also bad points. Um, it's very, very lightweight. It's very lightweight, so it's not going to keep anything out. <laughs> But the good part is, it is it's very, very lightweight. So you don't need a lot of huge support to keep it up. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just try this for a while. Um, there's a, actually a couple places inside the coop I want to, um, because there's some spaces, and they're there by design for ventilation, but they're, they're big enough for a snake to go through. So I'm going to use some remnants that I have left over and inside the nesting area I'm going to tack that up in these spaces so that they can still get the ventilation but that snakes can't get in um, and this deer netting it catches snakes it really does 
and I, I haven't caught a snake in it, but I had a roll of it kind of like on, on the ground or near the ground. And unfortunately, um, a little cute lizard got up in it and it couldn't get out and it, and it died. So, um, snakes, nah, they'll never make it through deer netting. I mean, it's very, very flimsy, but they just can't navigate through it. They just poke their little heads through it and, and then they end up getting caught up in it. And so it's very good for snakes and that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. Gosh, I wish I had my sunglasses because the sun, the sun actually is out now, which is great because I needed my solar to get charged up. Um, I think that I'm just going to secure a few more things on the deer netting and then maybe go into town and get some ice <laughs> and just chill out. Yeah, because it's going to be cool for the rest of the day. It's pretty cool at any rate. Um, and I think we've got one more cool day and then it's going to go back to getting really hot. So I'm going to enjoy these cool days. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I want to thank all of the new people who have subscribed to this channel. Oh my gosh. I mean, we're upwards toward 5,000 subscribers. And I try not to pay too much attention to it because it gets depressing if, you know, people unsubscribe in large numbers. But they've been subscribing so welcome all of you new people I hope you enjoy this community we got some really really great people down in the comment section so get to know them um, say hello leave them a comment and if you are an old timer you've been here since like forever just say hello to the new people who leave comments if you don't recognize them um, and welcome them to the channel because I just I love you guys so much. I don't know why you watch my videos, but I'm glad you do because it makes me happy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.